Hi everyone, today I'll talk about Posty and how you can automate your incident response with Posty for your cloud native risks. A brief agenda for this talk will be going over some common security paradigms really quickly, some of the challenges that we all face today, some solutions with Posty and a demo. So you've all heard that security is a requirement and not an option. Therefore, we go and get ourselves into vulnerability scanning and all other kinds of scannings that are out there to protect ourselves from the bad guys out there. But have you ever woken up with such an inbox and wondered if you're really in the right profession or not? Alert fatigue can be real and is real as PagerDuty talked about in this article. They mention a few things that can make an alert good or bad. Some of the good things for an alert should be that it should always be actionable. Someone who gets paid should know what to do with it. Should be descriptive enough so that they can act in case they have forgotten. And it always should go to the right people. Nobody wants to be woken up at midnight for a page that they have no idea what to do. But an ideal alert is all that and should be automated. By that, I mean it should be self-healing. Some people call it self-resolving. It should find its own place and way. And if it's something that happens often, there should be a defined playbook that can get executed every time such an alert is received by the operator. So for the for the title of this talk, as you've seen, it's SOAR with POSTI, and SOAR actually is an acronym that stands for Security Orchestration, Automation, and Response. For this talk, I'll focus on the automation and response piece of POSTI. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Aqua POSTI. What is POSTI, you may ask? POSTI is a message-based routing system. The routing is done on a policy base, so you can define policies to basically play out your plays and, and what happens to your messages. And the enforcement can and enforcement can be done on the alerts that you receive. Policies are written in Rego. We'll see a short example of it when I demo. So as a high level overview, Hosty can be thought of this can be looked at from, from a 10,000 feet overview. If you are not familiar with the nitty gritties, like I'll just walk you over the small subsections of this, this chart. So we all know Trivi, we all know Tracy, we all love them, and you'll be happy to hear that Trivi and Tracy both can work with Posty and as a matter of fact, it's not just limited to Tracy and Trivi. Any producer of events that can send an event over to Posty, you can, you can Posty can play with it. So, for instance, if you talk about Tracy, how it can integrate with Posty, Tracy is a piece of software that uses CBPF technology to find and detect malicious behavior running on your nodes or your machines. In this case, if Tracy observes a malicious behavior, it creates an event, sends that over to Posty, where Posty is listening for Tracy's events, and then Posty has this automation defined in itself that lets it take action such as terminate the malicious process that was reported by Tracy. Of course, you can define such actions to happen when Posty receives such an event, and there's many more that you can come up with depending on what your situation looks like. So I'll give you a quick demo of how Tracy can work with Posty now. And in this demo, we'll show some less intrusive actions such as creating Jira tickets, and sending JSON responses to an endpoint. So on the right of the screen, you'll see a terminal window where the Posty policy is defined. 
Most of these policies are written in the YAML configuration, and in this case, you have two routes defined. One creates a Jira ticket if it receives a particular event, and one sends it to a webhook if it receives another kind of event. So I'll start Posty on the right-hand pane. As you can see, Posty started, it has configured itself, and in the middle pane, I'll start Tracy in a Docker container. Tracy, in this case, is configured to send its events to Posty, as I mentioned. Tracy is going to start up, and as you can see, it has immediately found a suspicious behavior that it has flagged on this host that I have put forth. And as a result, Posty has taken that and sent it over to the webhook endpoint that is listening for all these events. As you can see, there's, a mul there's multiple of them. And Posty is basically forwarding all the information that it has received from Tracy all the metadata that can be useful for you to make a conscious decision on what to do with this alert over to the endpoint. Now, let's say a malicious attacker comes in and runs stuff that you don't want them to run. In this case, Tracy will detect that too. And that's cool. Tracy will forward that and put it forth to Posty, which in this case, we've defined it to create a Jira ticket. As you can see, Posty has created a Jira ticket for us with a predefined template that we have specified along with all the information that it has found. It has nicely labeled and assigned to me so that I don't have to be woken up at midnight and I can come take a look at it tomorrow. Now let's take a look at how Posty can work with Trivi. So Trivi, as we all know, is a vulnerability scanner. And in addition to being a vulnerability scanner, it can scan for many other things, such as secrets and other things that you may have in your repositories, your file system, your Git repos, what you may have. And in this case, Trivi scan results can be sent just like how Tracy sends it results to Posty. And then you can define criteria of what Posty should do when it gets such results. Now, in this simple example, Trivi is configured to scan a Docker image. Docker images get vulnerabilities over time, as you all know. In this particular case, I have configured Posty so that in case a, vulnerable, a vulnerability is discovered in an image, that base image gets updated. One can also configure so that that image gets removed so no person can run a container with a vulnerable image on their cluster. Let's take a quick look at Trivi with Posty demo. So on the right, as you can see, again, I have Posty. And once again, we'll create a ticket uh, for the purposes of this lightweight notification that someone like me can take a look at next morning. And I have configured Posty again with the regular rule, but this time I'm looking for all images that belong to the Alpine family of operating system. So I've scanned an Alpine 310 image, which is quite old, but recently it has had a CVE, a vulnerability in it. Trivi found that out, sent it to Posty, Posty took at it, sent it to Jira, created the ticket, and put all the information that I need to take a look at tomorrow morning when I come to my desk with the critical with the severity of the vulnerability flagged as critical and has tagged it, assigned it to me, boom. All the projects that I've mentioned today are open source and they can be found at these links. Posty, Tracy and Trivi, we welcome your contributions and ideas and feedback that you the feedbacks that you may have and we look forward to working with you on these thank you so much and you have a wonderful day